Did you ever wonder about the most common health concerns that older adults face? As we age, our bodies inevitably undergo changes, and with these changes come various health issues. Today, we'll shine a light on two such prevalent conditions that often affect our older population, arthritis and osteoporosis. You see, arthritis is not a single disease, but a term referring to joint pain or joint diseases. There are over a hundred different types of arthritis, all with their unique symptoms and treatment methods. On the other hand, osteoporosis is a condition that weakens bones, making them fragile and more prone to fractures. Understanding these conditions is not just crucial for those who are experiencing them, but also for those around them. Whether you're a caregiver, a family member, or a friend, knowing about these conditions can help you provide better support and care. So, without further ado, let's delve into our first topic, arthritis. Arthritis, a word we often hear, but what does it truly entail? Arthritis isn't just a singular disease, rather it's an umbrella term used for over a hundred different conditions that affect the joints and surrounding tissues. We often associate arthritis with aging and rightfully so. Statistics show that one in four adults over the age of 65 is living with some form of arthritis. However, it can also affect individuals at any stage of life, including children. Now, let's delve a little deeper into the causes and risk factors of arthritis. Age is the most prominent risk factor. As we age, the cartilage, the smooth, cushion-like tissue that protects our joints, starts to wear down naturally. This wear and tear can lead to osteoarthritis, the most common form of arthritis among older adults. Another significant factor is family history. If your parents or siblings have arthritis, you are more likely to develop it too. This indicates a possible genetic link to certain types of arthritis. It's like inheriting your mother's eye color or your father's sense of humor, except this is one inheritance you'd rather skip. Previous injuries can also set the stage for arthritis down the line. If you've ever had a joint injury, perhaps while playing sports or due to an accident, it could increase your chances of developing arthritis in that same joint in the future. Other risk factors include gender, with women being more likely to develop rheumatoid arthritis and obesity, which increases the risk of arthritis, particularly in weight-bearing joints like the knees and hips. It's important to note that having a risk factor doesn't guarantee you'll get the disease. It merely increases your susceptibility. Think of it as a puzzle. Each piece contributes to the bigger picture, but it isn't the picture itself. Now that we understand what causes arthritis, let's move on to the symptoms it presents. How does one recognize arthritis? What signs should you look out for? Arthritis often reveals itself through a series of common symptoms, which can vary in severity and may even come and go. First on the list is joint pain. This discomfort can occur whether you're moving or at rest. Next, there's stiffness. You might notice your joints feeling particularly rigid after periods of inactivity or first thing in the morning. Swelling is another key symptom. Your joints may appear larger or feel warm to the touch. Lastly, arthritis may cause decreased range of motion. You might find that you're not able to move your joints as freely as you once could, or that you're experiencing a lack of strength and coordination. It's important to remember that these symptoms can range from mild to severe, and they might not be consistent. They can come and go, and might even be worse some days than others. With these symptoms in mind, let's explore how arthritis is treated. Arthritis may be common, but it's not invincible. Treatment options are available. Let's explore the various ways we can tackle arthritis, starting with medication. Anti-inflammatory drugs and pain relievers are often the first line of defense. Some medications can also slow down the progression of certain types of arthritis, offering not just relief but also a way to maintain joint health. But it's not all about pills. Physical therapy is another key component of arthritis management. Working with a trained therapist can help you learn exercises to keep your joints flexible and strong, reducing pain and improving your ability to perform daily activities. In some severe cases, surgery may be considered to repair or replace damaged joints, but this is usually a last resort when other treatments have not been effective. Now let's not forget about the power of lifestyle changes. Regular exercise is essential to keep your joints healthy. It may seem counterintuitive to move more when it hurts, but regular low-impact activities like walking, swimming, or cycling can actually reduce arthritis symptoms. Strength training can also be beneficial, as stronger muscles can better support your joints. Similarly, maintaining a healthy diet can also help manage arthritis. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, like salmon and walnuts, or those high in antioxidants, 
like berries and leafy greens, can help reduce inflammation. And remember, every pound of weight lost translates to four pounds less pressure on your knees. It's also important to manage stress, as it can exacerbate arthritis symptoms. Techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga can help you stay calm and centered. Remember, arthritis management is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's about finding a combination of treatments that work best for you, under the guidance of your healthcare provider. Now that we've tackled arthritis, let's move on to our second topic, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, another common condition among older adults, but what is it exactly? Osteoporosis, derived from the Greek words for porous bones, is a condition that causes bones to become weak and brittle. It's so prevalent that it affects approximately 1 in 3 women and 1 in 5 men over the age of 50 worldwide. So, why does it occur? As we age, our body's ability to create new bone can't keep up with the rate of old bone loss. This imbalance results in bones becoming less dense, more porous, and prone to fracture. Certain risk factors make some people more susceptible to osteoporosis. Age is a significant factor, as the risk increases as we get older. Gender also plays a role with women, especially those past menopause, being at a higher risk. Family history can also increase one's likelihood of developing osteoporosis. If a close family member has osteoporosis or has broken a bone, the risk is significantly higher. Now that we understand what causes osteoporosis, let's move on to its symptoms. Osteoporosis can be silent, but there are signs to watch out for. This condition is often called a silent disease because one may not notice any changes until a bone unexpectedly breaks. However, there are some symptoms that can tip you off before such an event occurs. For starters, back pain, specifically in the lower back, can be a sign of osteoporosis. This pain can be due to fractures in the spinal column. Similarly, a loss of height over time might also indicate this condition. It's caused by the vertebrae in the spine compressing due to the loss of bone mass. Another symptom to look out for is fractures that occur more easily than expected. Bones weakened by osteoporosis are prone to break from minor falls or, in severe cases, even from simple actions like sneezing or bumping into furniture. Knowing these symptoms, it's crucial to understand how to treat and manage osteoporosis. Osteoporosis isn't unbeatable. There are ways to manage it effectively. Osteoporosis, a condition that weakens bones and increases the risk of fractures, may sound daunting. But fear not. There are various treatment options available that can help manage this condition effectively. Let's delve into them. Firstly, there's medication. Several types of drugs are available that can help slow down bone loss, increase bone density, and even reduce the risk of fractures. These medications include bisphosphonates, hormone-related therapy, and monoclonal antibody medications. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional to understand the best option for your specific case. Next up, we have a balanced diet. This is an integral part of managing osteoporosis. Consuming foods rich in calcium and vitamin D is crucial. Calcium is a key building block for our bones, while vitamin D helps our bodies absorb this vital mineral. Foods like dairy products, green leafy vegetables, and oily fish are excellent sources of these nutrients. And let's not forget about supplements. They can provide an added boost, especially for those who may struggle to get these nutrients from their diet alone. Now, let's talk about exercise, specifically, weight-bearing exercises. These are exercises where you work against gravity. Think activities like walking, jogging, or lifting weights. These exercises are great at strengthening bones and improving balance, which can help prevent falls and subsequent fractures. But it's not just about treating osteoporosis. Prevention is equally, if not more, important. Incorporating these lifestyle changes even before you are diagnosed can have a significant impact. Staying physically active, maintaining a balanced diet, and avoiding habits like smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can go a long way in keeping your bones healthy. Remember, osteoporosis is a manageable condition. With the right treatment plan and lifestyle modifications, you can continue to lead a healthy, active life. It's all about taking the reins and making conscious, healthy choices. Remember, understanding these conditions is the first step towards a healthier future.